saves. And that's why yeah, counseling is needed when somebody has passed away. Because other people, when somebody has passed away, you find that they don't want even to touch the car. They say, let us put everything and let us send all things to him to work. Manja Makshoni, Abandu Melebalule, Abanya Bakon, Octinta Luton, as Moto, but I must have a Senegonk and I. He will drive his car there. But I am Moto Akuso, Shaila Konale. You are the one who needs the car to do it. You need the car now. You need the job now. You need the business now. You need the business now. You need the business now. Ah, and you must be healed now. There is no healing in there in the kingdom of Jesus. Because there are no sicknesses there. Healing is for today. Hey, deliverance is for today. Amen. Amen. He minds about your life now. Say amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you go and put money right there Mawe on the grave, they are going to dig and get that money. The thieves now. Amasara when you will be putting the money there, you. because you will be crying, caught by fear. When you will be let all the money go with him. They will be looking at you. Where are you putting it? At night, they will come and dig and take the money and go away. Ask what they did in the grave of King David. King David, whom we read from the Bible, because the old kings used to be buried with gold, Diamonds, minerals, precious ones. They used to be buried with them because people were showing respect to them. Oh. Oh, you know what they did in the grave of David? They went there and dig him up. Ah, they just wait for them to cry and keep quiet. As he was a king. And they know, they were passing the message that, do you know that in his grave, there is gold? And diamonds. Then the children and the children and the children. Registering the message. Then one day they say, Enough, it's enough. They said, Okay, the generations, they've come and passed. They digged him. Out. And he took the gold, diamonds, things. And he took the gold. Say, Hey. Hey. So I'm saying to you, God is minding about your life. Your eternal life and your present life. And all the things which you need now, God wants to bless you. Because he knows very well that those things, if you are not receiving them now, do you not think that in the next life you will get them there? Two, let us come to point number two. How can we see that really this God remembered us? He cares for us. He cares for us. He is looking after our lives. He cares. Yes, for our lives. This is God who cares about his children. What his children are eating. What his children needed. And again, where his children where are they living? 
He cares for you. Also, when you are having challenges and problems, He cares for you. That is point number two. And again, point number three, He has crowned us. He has crowned us. This God, when we are born again, when we are living for him, when we are proclaiming his kingdom, our hands are not naked. Our hands are crowned. First of all, we have the crown of life. And again, we have many crowns depending on what we are doing now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The righteous one is being crowned by blessings. These are the blessings. God has crowned us with the blessings. Tell me, if really you were not crowned already by your blessings, why demons are blocking you in such a way that they end up manifesting in some of you saying that, oh, we didn't want this one. Hey, we didn't want him to get a job. We have blocked. Why they have blocked? They have seen, they have seen that you are blessed. They have seen already that God has prepared something. God has crowned you with blessings. So don't you know the slogan of the witches? The witches, they say, you mustn't mix witches and the devil worshippers. The devil worshippers are higher than the witches. But the witches, their slogan, they, saying, they don't just waste their tools and the powers for nothing. Is after they've searched, they've they've seen, they've screened, and after they've seen that he's going to have a big house, is then now they prepare. It's a come snake. Come crocodile. Come to try this. Come this. They combine them all and they empowered them. They say, hey, but when from today you are my tools. Make sure that that house doesn't come here. You crocodile, shall the house now. You tortoise. When a food swallow that house, Queen Aizu, you know the tortoise. Hey, you snake, swallow the house and coil yourself. Queen Alange, the best any is Zungazaganjena. Why? Gungan, they have seen Babonile something. Gunento is after they have seen Gungam for good Sebabonile. So we must also know ourselves that if those witches they have seen oh let us pull ourselves it means that it's real and it's coming yes Hallelujah. My God has blessed me. Amen. Amen. So when you are born again, even when the demons are manifesting, just look at them. Say, oh. Continue to scream. You are expanding your mouth. And relaxing the Lord. Say, ah, 
Do you know the power which has arrested you? That's why you are saying that. If it's not the power of God which has arrested you, you are not going to say anything. You are arrested. You speak like me. When I say, hey, we are not going to live it. Then I say, oh. You are arrested already. You are under the chains of fire. That's why you are saying that. Amen. Amen. God has crowned you. You are not empty. You are not naked. You have the crown right on you. As long as you have Jesus Christ. Right on you. There is something. Are we together? Amen. And they put everything under their feet. Mm -hmm. Now, let us come to our point number four. God has put everything under the authority of Jesus Christ. So you, when you have Jesus, whatever is evil coming against you, say you are under my feet. Whatever is evil gossiping about your future, just say, you are under. My feet. My, just say that is the life in the spirit. If you are saying, I'm taking you, we take all these evil things. If the words from the mouth of demons are standing against your life, learn to do this in your prayers. I take all the ways. Which are against my life, and put away. Hallelujah! Shame is the one which is under my feet. Why? Because everything which is under my feet is in trouble. If that thing trying to protect itself is in trouble, I can dance on it. I can dance all the dances. That thing will be paralyzed. I can also walk on it. That thing will be paralyzed. Are we together? Are we together? The thing which is under my feet has lost the war. Demons, where are the demons? That's why we are just saying in the name of Jesus. We don't climb the mountains for us to defeat the demons. No. It's only through the name of Jesus Christ. We don't push the ashes on us for us to defeat the demons. Only the name of Jesus Christ. Say amen. Say everything which is against my life, against my Christianity, it's where Praise the Lord. Amen. From today, you must respect your feet. They are more powerful than Ganda Ganda. We know that the builders are one, they are more powerful. <laughs> because whatever is trying to steal from you, Jesus Christ is putting away. That is under your authority. Under the feet means under your authority. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Under your authority. You see, when something is under your authority, you can kick that thing. Hey, you can do whatever you want. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say authority. I have authority over all the things which are against my life. Praise the Lord. Amen.
I'm saying to you, God remembered you. Some of you, you were living by using stick. Which you have received from the witch doctor. And his tallest young. They've deceived you. You were speaking with the stick. Say, hey, stick, stick. Join a loti. Jesus Christ has given you authority to speak with the job straight, not, not through the stick. Can't you see this foolishness? The kingdom of God takes us straight to the things we want. But look at the darkness kingdom. Hey, if you want to get a job, speak to your ancestors. And go to the witch doctors. The witch doctors, they will give you the bundles of herbal medicines. They say in the morning, look east and throw and speak with that thing and said, Job, no. Jesus Christ says, You speak straight with his authority. Say, God remembered me. In Say, from today, my life will be changed. My home will be changed. My work will be changed. My business will be changed. My children will be changed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 19. Glory to Jesus. It says... So we see that they were not able to enter because of their unbelief. They were not able to enter because of their unbelief. Or oh, what a good testimony. God put the deliverance um, of um, the um, Israelites. Um, and he put the holy land there. Um, Behind them there was Egypt. Um, but the holy land was at the front. Um, this holy land was um, at the front. Um, they have to walk um, now facing the holy land, walking towards the holy land. But uh, on the way, some, they didn't arrive there. The reason, because of the unbelief. So for you to enter into your blessings, you must believe that God is with you and you believe the Holy Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God has spoken, the point of entering there was in their mouth and in their hearts. If they were not believing, what else? Were you expecting God to do? Because God doesn't work by pushing people and say, I will push you until you arrive. No. God says, Go. Because he spoke with us and his word is the one which carries us we believe the words of God. Then after believing the word of God, we see the miracles. Say amen. Say amen. The sin of unbelief is too dangerous, my friend. Because this sin will delay you until the demons overtake you. The sin of unbelief is very dangerous because when you have this sin of unbelief it attracts the whole kingdom of darkness. And again the sin of unbelief works together with the death. When you are not repenting 
You will die there. That is the darkness. What darkness wants is that. But believe God. And all things will be possible. Hallelujah. All things are possible. For those who believe. When you believe all things are possible. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 27, for he has put everything under his feet. Now, when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that this does not include God himself, who put everything under Christ. Manje, ube gile gonke ngapansu wezi nyao zake. Gotwa guti nige uguti ube gile gonke ngapansu wezi nyao zake. Kiabonaga loguti, loyo obege zonke zinto, gulinde lukba ukrestu. God has given Jesus Christ authority. Unkulunkulunige zeu Jesu Christu, ikuonya. He put everything under the authority of Jesus. Ubege gonke nga panzi kwe kunya nga Jesu Christu. Yes, you must believe. That also the things which you want now in this life they are under the authority of Jesus. I don't know how many times Jesus Christ spoke with me addressing the problems of his children. When he says to me, Go and tell that one that I need his heart. Go and tell them that I need their hearts. Their hearts are still far away from me. They mustn't come to me because they want these earthly things. Tell them that they must believe that my father has given me the authority. But I will give them, I will bless them when their hearts are in me. Praise the Lord. It doesn't mean that when we want anything from Jesus, we say, Jesus, this, you will just throw. That if I can come here with a packet of sweets, those ones which are 100 in packet, I will call the kids and say, come, 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 come. And some kids, when they are still asking themselves, why, why am I calling them? But immediately when they arrive and find that, hey, they are sweets. We'll be just taking the sweets. So those little ones, they will take and go away. And wrapped the sweet. And you find that the child is busy eating. After eating, then the child will stand up again. Trying to search the one who was giving the sweets. Even when sweet. the sweets will be finished, the child will come. I want more sweet. Are we together? God is the blesser. Let us come and believe him and live in his kingdom. We will get all what we want. Lift up your hands. Commit yourself. You know, in your prayer, I just want you to say, Lord, I thank you because you remembered me. And put all the things which were rising up against your life as a challenge. And speak with God and say, God, I thank you because you remembered me. Also in that problem, also in that challenge, also in that case, 
also in that situation. Pray with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. You who are not yet born again. Do you know the honor which you have today? Because Jesus Christ wants to change your life today. I'm calling you to come and receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. I say stand up from where you are. You who are not yet saved, not yet born again. This is your special day, your unique day. The day which you mark in your life. I say stand up from where you are. Are you bound by the chains of drinking? Are you bound by the chains of smoking? Are you still bound by the chains of unbelief but today come and believe God through Jesus Christ you stand up peacefully and you make a way for your life come and stand here where you will receive the prayer the prayer which will change your life the prayer which will make you to be born.